If you're lost on the refugee scenario at the normal difficulty setting, this is the video for you. So without further ado, let's get started. Here's a general overview. Phase 1 is receiving all 10 groups of refugees as you start building and gathering resources. Phase 2 is expanding infrastructure to support an ever-growing population as groups of lords arrive. And Phase 3 is managing the social interactions between the two groups as you tend to the sick and hungry arrivals. The faster you get your city up, the easier it will be to support everyone with minimal problems towards the end. We've already covered the first week of this scenario in detail, so if you'd rather see that and face the challenges yourself, check out the playlist. Phase 1 1. Get scout teams up in the first week and get to the cannery as quickly as possible. There is not enough people to focus on both shelter and food during this time. Get the beacon up and running within the first two days. 2. Clear out all collectible resources as soon as possible. Get to extended shift and faster gathering to speed up the process. You generally only need one medical post for now, so the other engineers should be in the workshops. 3. Plan out where everything is going to go and lay out an outline of the road network. You'll have plenty of wood from the wood piles and your exploration. 4. Balance your generator upgrades with unlocking resource generators and quality of life research. You'll also need to start passing laws in either order or faith in the second week. If you don't, you'll find yourself severely lacking in one area that nullifies the gains of the others. 5. Build housing in anticipation of each new wave of refugees. You can see exactly how many will be arriving by hovering over the refugee icons to the right. 6. Establish the outposts as soon as possible to gather from the wasteland in the second week. When all 10 groups of refugees have arrived by the end of day 13, this phase ends with over 300 people present. Phase 2 In this phase, you want to take maximum advantage of 2 days of downtime before the lords start arriving. 1. Focus on getting a consistent food source and research quickly to maximize production. 2. Upgrade resource generators and keep an eye on extra cores available. You should be finding more in the wasteland. 3. Expand your medical facilities and research infirmaries as soon as possible. You'll need them towards the end of this phase. 4. You can consider upgrading shelters to bunkhouses and then houses as your available resources grow. However, this isn't necessary at this difficulty, and so it's a really good scenario to get the worse than London achievement. This phase ends with the arrival of Lord Craven on day 19. You should have nearly 700 people in the city by now. How well you've built the city will determine how well the final phase goes as you'll have a lot of cold, hungry, and sick people coming in. Phase 3 If you've played your cards right, you have a few options here. 1. If you chose the faith track, you can use the temple to decrease discontent. If you chose the order track, you can do the same with patrols. 2. If you want to boost your hope, you should have enough medical facilities and food to provide for the sick and hungry by now. 3. Faith keepers or guard towers will provide the means to stop the mob from lynching Lord Craven. It's up to you whether he lives or dies. Regardless, you can let everyone have normal working hours now to really drop the discontent. This is the shortest phase of the scenario since you can use these tactics to min-max discontent and hope to their targets pretty quickly. It can take as little as 2 days, but you have 4 days to resolve the class conflict. I found this scenario to be a lot of fun with plenty of challenges, and hopefully this video helps you in your own gameplay. This is Fat Beats, signing out.